I'm excited to share my review and experience of the Streamline Propulsion System for the Waydo Flyer One series that you can purchase at efoilsolutions.com. I'll have a link in the video description below so that you can easily find the propulsion system. And while you're there, you will also see that there are adapters for Saab foil and Axis foil wings to use on your Waydo Flyer One or Flyer One Plus. And this is a really cool thing because you can totally change and customize and increase the performance of your Waydo in multiple ways. But I only tested the propulsion system. And as you can see, we are in beautiful Las Vegas instead of my hometown of Page, Arizona, Lake Powell, because I'm on a business trip. And, you know, I'm going to take any opportunity that presents itself for me to shoot video because I can't wait for a preferred time and location because YouTube doesn't exactly pay the bills to be able to do so. So if you're enjoying any of my videos now in the past or in the future, be sure to like and subscribe and all the rest of the good stuff. For the sake of time, I know some of you will be tempted to jump to the video demonstration of the performance of the propulsion system. But before you do, just know that I will also be sharing video and pictures of the different props side by side as I'm speaking to you from this hotel room. So overall, the Streamline propulsion system is just as good, if not better, than all other propulsion systems for the Waydo Flyer 1 and Flyer 1 Plus. It exceeded my expectations and even surprised me. So for example, the original three-blade propeller, if I use power level 15, I would get 15 miles per hour at the same speed as the gear that I was using. With the jet, I would get 2 miles per hour faster. With the folding prop, I would get up to 5 miles per hour faster. The streamlined propulsion system was getting 3 miles per hour faster than the set power level or gear. So I was not expecting it to be as good, let alone exceed the performance of the folding prop. It wasn't until I completed a full range test that I realized that the Streamline propeller was indeed just as good. When it comes to top speed, all of the propulsion systems that I've tested previously would max out before reaching the highest gear settings. But with the Streamline propulsion system, it continued to have about three miles per hour faster all the way up to gear setting 23 and 24, giving me the highest top speed of all of the propulsion systems compared. The Streamline Propeller is going to satisfy all of your performance needs except for specific scenario uses such as surfing waves depowered, which you're going to want to use the folding prop for that. Or if you're someone who's particularly concerned about an open propeller system and would prefer a more properly, safely shielded propeller, then the jet propulsion system is going to be best for you. In order to get the full benefit and performance out of the Streamline Propulsion System, you're going to want to buy the optional prop cone. The prop cone is a piece of equipment that goes between the end of the fuselage and the propeller itself. This is going to give it the full Streamline effect all the way to the tip of the cap that comes with the propeller itself. I actually did a test where I tested the range of the Streamline Propulsion System with the wrong cone and I got one half mile less of range. I also noticed that the speed was slightly slower by about a half or a quarter of a mile per hour based on the gear settings that I was using. There are two different prop cones available to purchase. One of them has a vertical piece which matches the Waydo Flyer 1 Plus or the Waydo Flyer 1 Plus upgrade kit. It matches the back of the stabilizer fin mount. All other Waydo models or kits, such as the folding prop kit, which has its own stabilizer fin mount, you'll want to buy the prop cone that does not have any vertical pieces. And this additional prop cone was something that was added as a result of input from testers such as myself to ensure that we had a prop cone available for all models and kits for the Waydo Flyer 1 series from the Kickstarter all the way to the Waydo Flyer 1 Plus. So you can evaluate which cone you will need 
or if you have any questions, you can also add them in the comments below. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the demonstrational videos of the various performances of the Streamline Propulsion System. And for the sake of time, I've only added the comparative videos of the maximum speed of the original three blade propeller and the folding prop. If you'd like to see other comparisons to the other performances such as the jet, you'll have to check out my review of the jet in of itself. And eventually I'll have a review finally of the folding prop that I've had for a year and a half and put on delay for various reasons, which I'll explain in that video once it's finally produced. And then at the very end of this video, I'll have the map records of the Relive app that I used for the range tests and comparisons of the four different propulsion systems that I have. And uh, live life to the foilist, and we'll see you in the next video. Testing the eFoil Solutions Waydo prop, and we're gonna see what power level it takes to get me out of the water. And I believe it's power level 10. I'm 170 pounds. Let's do it. Trigger's bad. Get it on plane. Slowly back off and it's up. Try nine. Fully on the water. Power level nine. Yeah, I don't think so. And at power level 10, we are going 12 miles per hour, sometimes 13, especially when I kind of come down. I can even get it up to 14 if I come down real quick. So, but mostly I'd say like 12.5 miles per hour on uh, power level 10. Let's see how low we can go to maintain flight. Power level nine. Power level eight. And that's going to be the pumping speed. <laughs> going to have to pump at power level 8. Power level 8. Definitely going to require pumping to stay up. I'm on power level 13 and I'm going about 16 miles per hour. This is kind of a mild but uh, moderate speed and power level. And we're going to test breaching and breach recovery. Very easy breach recovery. It gives you uh, some good volume warning. That's kind of a warning sound pre full breach. And then at the full breach, it kind of drops a little bit, but not too bad. Very good breach recovery. You can hold it very easily. Breach control. All right, power level 14, 17 miles per hour. Let's try just a little bit of surfing around. A little bit of a breach there. Barely start to hear it. Again, really good. Just kind of warning that you're getting a bit high on the mast. Get 
not. Plastic three blade propeller speed test power level twenty two twenty one. Range test results and map ride records, let's start with the least efficient original three blade propeller and end with the streamlined propeller. I used a 15 to 16 mile per hour speed for all of my tests and I followed the general buoy line of the marina so that I could better repeat the same route for every test. Many of my test rides I rode in the switch stance position to better take advantage of a very mellow and easygoing, somewhat slow ride as you can tell from my ride results and records. And next, we will be testing the Weidu Jet Propulsion System. At the beginning and end of each of my rides, you'll notice there's kind of a boxy area. This is an area that has wakeless buoys to line and area where there are houseboats in a floating anchored buoy field. When riding the jet I didn't turn around quite soon enough and my battery died here but there is a second launch ramp that you can't see on the map and I swam to that point got my car and picked up the board and now we are on the folding prop test ride. In general it's a good idea to ride no further from the shore than you're willing to swim. You can see in all of these ride tests that I'm not too far from the shore, however I do ride pretty far from the marina. I always have my cell phone with me and I've contacted people before and after the ride, especially in the winter when there's hardly any other people on the water. And here I died about 0.3 miles from the shore. Not too far to swim and not too bad. So here is the streamlined propulsion system for last. I would like to point out that the time results of all of these tests is incorrect and only the mileage is valid because I wouldn't always start the clock as soon as I got on the board. Sometimes I would be talking to someone on the launch ramp before. And this time I wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't have to swim as far, so I did a few circles until the battery died close to the starting point. I hope you enjoyed and found this review video to be informative. If you have any questions, you can submit them in the comments section below. I usually try to pin a comment at the top if there's any pertinent 
important or changed information. There's also the video description for links and other information. And you can pause the video for the information that I have on the screen here as well. But your results may vary based on many different variables that can influence your ride.